So nature might be healing, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a crazy week, y'all. Sickers are canceling Ubisoft for the Assassin's Creed situation. Conquer getting hit. PlayStation is doing the wool crap uh, once again. And Xbox, apparently they're firing their DEI, bro. They're firing their DEI. And YouTubers making thumbnails like nature might be healing for Xbox. Yeah, like putting like Burnout Zone Blast, Stellar Blade, Burnout on Blast. This is Fable. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And I'm gonna get right into it. And of course, this week we also saw the expose of Thomas Lockley. And he faked the entire Yasuke being a samurai situation. It has been wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. Yeah, this entire thing, wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, roll it. Shut your Dr. Disaster, roll this. And it looks like Firewalk Studios, the developers of Concord, are getting pretty desperate. We're doomed! Doomed! Wait for doomed. it. According to this article from Tech for Gamers, on the final day of the Concord beta, the game fell below 50 players on Steam. Keep in mind that in order to play the game on Steam, you had to pre-order it. So we are talking about paying customers. Over the weekend, the beta maxed out at a little over a thousand concurrent players, oh which is- Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, man. I, I feel for them, man. I feel for them, and this game is gonna be on PC and PlayStation, right? Uh, so PlayStation, give or take, almost gonna have the same amount of people playing the game, right? Maybe a little less, maybe a little <laughs> maybe a little more. Oh, man, these suckers are done for, right? Yeah, keep, keep, keep doing the Big Show female versions, man. Uh, I, I, I like Big Show, actually. Big Show uh, was uh, used to be in WWE, man, but... Uh, you know, like, yeah, keep doing, keep doing that, man. Keep doing that, bro. Keep doing the Lizzo. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, actually use Lizzo, for Aesthetic example. in and of itself, but by the end of the weekend, only 50 of them remain still playing it. However, Concord is now getting an open beta this coming weekend, which will be free to play for everyone. Yet, I doubt this beta will do well at all because the characters look stupid and ugly. And because a game that should have been free to play all along is going to cost $40 when it comes out oh, next month. Okay. Obviously... $40? Yo, Sega's crazy? Man, that's a highway robbery, bro. That's a highway Firewalk robbery. Firewalk didn't like the black eye that they received after this first weekend. It has to be frustrating to learn how universally hated this woke shit is. You suck, you jackass. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's gonna do the subscribe thing. I'm literally, I'm literally dancing for your amusement. How many other channels do that? That's true, though. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We're gonna actually get down to it's the content here. an absolute calamity okay. for Firewalk Studios. It is being estimated that the game cost between 50 and 150 million dollars to make it. Even if we assume the low end of the spectrum at 50 million, which it shouldn't have cost even that to make, considering how uninspired this piece of shit is. But even if we assume it was 50 million, that means they will need to sell over a million units to make their money back. And of course, oh, maintaining the servers isn't gonna be cheap either. So that ongoing cost is gonna make breaking even a pipe dream, especially when you consider that the game maxed out at about a thousand players concurrently on Steam over the past weekend. Good luck. You're gonna need it. This upcoming weekend... Yeah, uh, these suckers need to make this game fully free to play at this point for it to get some people on it, bro. Like, yeah, I man, game, gamers, uh, gamers have stopped buying the bullcrap of the sky is green, okay? Gamers have stopped buying the sky is green bullcrap, bro. You cannot be saying, like, all oh, this crap. You, uh, Yeah, like, you cannot say 2 plus 2 is 5 and it's not, right? Yeah, keep keep experimenting with Lizzo. Yeah, keep adding Lizzo's in the game. We want strong, independent, right? We uh, Why not have strong, independent players like Lara Croft? Lara was actually the real strong, independent uh, woman, right? That people had no problem with. Nobody had problem with that because that was uh, actually a real good female character. Suckers love games like that, bro. Suckers love it. Suckers love it, man. I uh, yeah, Tomb Raider is uh, a lot of people's favorite franchise, and you know what? Even Tomb Raider is not safe, guys. It's not safe. Look at that, man. Damn, homie. Like yeah, this is what we want. But instead of uh, Lara Croft, we're getting Lorenzo right now, bro. Like they turn into Lorenzo. Some of you guys uh, have been saying it's Larry. Larry now, guys. They got an upgrade uh, to Lorenzo now. So. From Lara to Larry to now Lorenzo, guys. Sadly, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's probably the game's last chance to succeed. They have to impress people in a pretty big way in order to convince people to shell out money when the competition is free. I mean, why pay $40 to play a game where the characters look like this 
when you can play as characters looking like this for free. The First Descendant has been a smash hit so far, generally getting a few hundred thousand players each day on Steam. It will be interesting to see how close to that Concord can get. Considering that the beta will be free, there will be no excuses for Concord after this weekend. The First Descendant was also a brand new IP with no built-in fanbase, but when it launched, it had over 200,000 players playing the game on Steam within a single day. I sincerely doubt Concord gets anywhere near that number. The media shills. I, I do feel like that all of these videos, uh, because of these videos, it might get like a bump in uh, player count uh, initially, but even then, it's not gonna do too well in the long run, okay? If the game turns out to be like a miracle and if it's really good at launch, then okay, maybe it's gonna sustain it. And by uh, and for some weird reason, they like keep updating the game and they make sure like they they make the game for the gamers uh, and uh, we actually get game devs uh, because right now it feels like that it's activists making these games right it's not the game devs so for some odd reason a miracle happens right uh, and of the sony is like oh crap like okay so we need to make games for the gamers we need to also get gamers as devs or devs that play video games devs that are passionate about creating video games let's actually hire them and put them there to make this game then maybe right they can turn the ship around but so far it is joe over bro who really want this game to succeed seem skeptical as well this article from playstation lifestyle as an example seems worried concord will be a massive flop it says concord beta got positive reviews but player count causes concern and then down in the article a bit it says we've been following the chatter surrounding concord's beta and have noticed that a lot of players who were initially skeptical about about the game actually enjoyed their experience. However, all those positive impressions were overshadowed by recurring screenshots of Steam DB showing Concord's player numbers yeah. on PC. You know what this tells me is that people don't even give a, a damn. People don't even give a f about leaving it a bad review. So I guess I'm like, I'm not even gonna bother playing it. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna bother playing it. And people that liked it they are playing it and the people that liked it they're very few so those people are playing it and leaving good reviews and people that don't like it they just don't even bother they don't even they don't even want to jump on and leave a negative review they're like i'm good bro I i'm good bro like i i don't even care for this game to the point where i'm gonna try and leave a bad review i'm out i'm out it bad you know what i'm saying like that's where we at right now bro as an example, Tech for Gamers pointed out that on the last day of its early beta access, Concord's concurrent player count fell below 50 on Steam. We don't have access to PS5 data, but it probably <laughs> can you get 50 likes on the video, guys? He fared better on the console, considering early access was open to all PS Plus members, irrespective of tier. Mm -hmm. And that right there mm -hmm. is the cope that the media is going for. Mm -hmm. That's their defense for this shitty game. The fact that we don't know the PS5 player count means that maybe Concord maybe. wasn't a major failure. But let me throw this out there. If the game was a success, and it wasn't, I would just about guarantee that it wasn't. But if it were a success, you know that PlayStation would absolutely have thrown out the numbers for everyone to see. I mean, where are the numbers at, Sony? We know if, the, if the numbers are good, <laughs> where are the numbers at, Sony? <laughs> now, if the... If the numbers were good, they would be boasting it. They would be telling uh, about. Uh, they would be saying that to their investors, so they can get a like, bump in their their stock, in their stock earnings, uh, right? In the stock, uh, they want to see the stock go higher and higher, right? They want to make the benches, right? So absolutely, they would have talked about it. But know that you have the numbers. We know that you know how many players played on the PS5. So why not tell us what they are? Why yeah. not do some bragging? Unless, of course, there's nothing to brag about, which, as I say, I will pretty much guarantee that there isn't. If the numbers were good, they would have leaked them to the likes of IGN and Kotaku, and that's what all the headlines would be. But I'm gonna leave it there. Make your get- 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 well, go broke and check this one out. Uh-oh, Ubisoft is doomed. Let's dive on into this hilarious situation about Assassin's Creed Shadows, a game that the Awfuls made for themselves and which will mostly only appeal to the Awfuls. And for those unaware, Awful is an acronym standing for Affluent White Female Liberals. You know, the childless cat ladies who have no meaning in their own lives. The only meaning they find these days is sneering down at hardworking normal people from their throne of absolute comfort in between sips of goat milk latte. All while pretending. Oh, he's spitting though. 
he's spitting though and you know what what uh uh what i think is gonna happen next they're probably gonna because they are they're stereotyping the black culture right disrespecting the japanese culture and also disrespecting the black culture as well by having the only black character in the game you know uh, stereotyping him making him gay as well uh when the real yasuke was not and i said it before if the real yasuke was okay then it kind of makes sense to make him gay in the game but he was not and they're like okay his biggest achievement he was gay let's actually make him gay they made him gay so they, they did that stereotyped him with the hip-hop music and all that next up they're probably gonna add kfc in the game bro yeah they're gonna make him eat chicken in the game even though i love chicken as well uh, I, I, I people love chicken man a lot of people love chicken but you know that's another stereotype yeah i have black people loves to go to kfc and eat chicken chicken so they're probably gonna add chicken in the they're probably gonna make me eat chicken in the game next time they're probably gonna do that they're probably gonna do that and i guess that is gonna be historically accurate because chicken did exist right all the way back then too Bruh. but kfc it did not exist then and they're probably gonna add that too. Oh, shit. So yeah, add add KFC in 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 it you too, Ubisoft. Add but KFC, they are saving the world from some evil. Here I come to save the day. <laughs> if you want to know what I'm talking about, look at this picture here. This is the team that worked on Assassin's Creed Shadows. Looks like a bunch of awfuls to me. Not very diverse at all. But anyways, <laughs> let's start by looking. At oh my god yeah there's one bl uh, blue hair yeah this is what i wanted yes yes because in the last video i was like damn like where are the blue hair people at though so we got one blue hair people i guess that is diversity guys that is diversity holy crap man like these listen man i love the females out there brad but y'all females at ubisoft y'all be destroying everybody's culture man like holy crap bro I, I mean, this is what the normies always say, right? Like, uh, the white liberal woman be ruining ruining everything they touch. Uh, and uh, listen, man, you guys are not helping it. You guys are not helping me change my mind right now. You guys are not disputing that. You guys are not, like, coming out with something else to counter that argument. Because you need to counter that argument. Make a good damn game, okay? Start with the woke identities, the politics in the game. Make something good, okay? Objectively, stop disrespecting people culture. Stop using LGBT people as shields. Stop using black people as shields. Stop using people as shields, bro. And stop dunking on the Asian culture like that. Damn, like y'all suckers have put through, uh, put a back black man in it, made him gay, stereotyped the the living crap out of him, and you and, and you use him to like kill all the Japanese people, all the Asian people in the game, and and while he's killing people, hip hop music plays in the background. I mean, damn, y'all like that that is absolutely insanity insanity and y'all sickers have made this game based off of wikipedia and thomas lockley uh, i'm sure you guys heard it people have been leaving comments left and right and i've been reading your guys comments too right a lot of japanese folks are leaving shout out to my japanese viewers shout out to my black viewers shout out to my white viewers shout out to my brown viewers i'm personally brown say what's up uh, so yeah shout out to all my people out there that are living life in the six right now and that are waking up to all this bull squash you feel what i'm saying but uh yeah, yeah, what? A bunch of awfuls to me. Not very diverse at all. But anyways, let's start by looking at this tweet from Twitter user RC166. This person wrote, The other booths were crowded, but the Assassin's Creed Shadow booth was not as you can see. The chairs were used as resting spots. I wonder if the French are angry too. <laughs> Oh no. I mean, let's face it, the people at Japan Expo are likely to be fans of Japan and Japanese culture, so why would they visit an Assassin's Creed Shadows booth? After all, this game is under fire for its complete lack of authenticity, starting mm. with the infamous controversy of showing Yasuke as a full-blown samurai. When Japanese has- Yeah, Thomas Lockley just got exposed recently, and uh, what we're finding out that Yasuke was not a samurai. <laughs> Yeah, it was just like a Wiki Wikipedia thing and uh, Thomas Lockley made him appear as a samurai while he was not a samurai. So, yeah, th th this this is not my opinion. This is what's being reported, guys. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's going on. And apparently Ubisoft made this game based off of Wikipedia. So Historians have said he was essentially just a servant. But anyhow, then Grums, a.k.a. Mark Kern, the former team lead for the OG World of Warcraft, quote tweeted that tweet saying, The bad news and outright awful mistakes Ubisoft is making are just piling up. There is more than what I can post in a day. 
The Assassin's Creed booth was empty at Japan Expo compared to the other crowded booths. Even the French don't seem to be excited for this game. Yeah, and then les, les Français là, ah ouais, c'est ah ouais, je pète tes dents, calais ce tabernacle. Hein? Grums added, just got a report from someone at Japan Expo. Ubisoft staff are asking that anyone using the seats at the Assassin's Creed Shadows booth to turn around to face their screen. People were using them as benches to watch the much more popular Nintendo, Nintendo booth, booth across the way. Nobody cares about Ubisoft. <laughs> man, you are one pathetic loser. Well, maybe it has. Yo, Ubisoft, honestly, man, Yasuka should have given those people sitting and resting like a baguette or something like that, bro. Come on, man, let them have a bread, man. Let them have a baguette, bro. Maybe then they're, they're gonna like this uh, BBC Samurai, your Assassin's Creed game, man. Y'all turn the BBC Samurai into a gay BBC Samurai, man. Y'all suckers should be ashamed, man. Y'all suckers are crazy for that, bruh. Something to do with this shit, where Ubisoft told us to get comfortable not owning any game that we pay for from them. I think a lot of people have gotten very comfortable not owning their shit. Or maybe it has something to do with the incessant pandering and wokeness. It's probably a combination of things, but the question we ought to be asking is why should gamers care about a Ubisoft booth. Why should mm. they? This company mm. clearly hates gamers. They don't hire gamers to make games. They Actress. don't make games for gamers. They make passion projects that fail miserably and then they lecture us about how you don't actually own any software that you purchase from them. Anyhow, Grums also posted this, another shot of the Assassin's Creed Shadows booth. They are showing exclusive gameplay, but it's the same video they already posted to YouTube. <laughs> if you stay till the very exclusive gameplay my ass bro it's not gonna be exclusive as long as uh, the only way this can be exclusive is if you guys if you guys showed like kfc in assassin's creed yeah add kfc now bro that's the only thing that's left right add kfc in it too and ubisoft gives you a bag of goodies oh goody yeah sorry i can't imagine that bag of goodies was actually very cool considering some of the other shit that's gone down with them recently here is a translation of a tweet from the assassin's oh, creed no. france twitter account it shows some pictures of things they would show you at the japan expo and then the translation from french says katana and yasuki mask or even artwork from the game our ubisoft stand at japan expo offers you a uh, katana and mask de yasuke par uh, ou encore Artwork des jeux, notre stand à U Ubisoft à la Japan Expo vous propose une expérience immersive. Okay, immersive. They, they mean to say like this is a this experience is going to be really immersive. Exp yeah, immersive experience. There we go. An immersive experience. Mm. We will immerse you in the spirit of the game with us until Sunday, July 14th. <laughs> well, the spirit of the game is apparently just ripping people off because it has been pointed out that the katana being shown in the picture is actually from One Piece. It's the Sandai Katetsu, which was used by Rora Noah Zoro. So these lazy a holes. They, they stole that too. And the Apparently, they sent some of these goodies that they like to say. The goodies! The, the, the Ubisoft uh, Assassin's Creed goodies! They sent the goodies to Japanese YouTubers, and the Japanese YouTubers couldn't even read what it said. And some of them said that, is that even Chinese? Is that Chinese? Is that Chinese? Because I don't think it's Japanese, though. So that happened, and apparently, Microsoft dumps DEI. Check this. Let's have a look at what's shaking with Microsoft. This article is from the website That Park Place, and the article says, A new report claims that Microsoft has eliminated an entire diversity, equity, and inclusion team with a manager claiming DEI programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. And of course, Bumba what they're referring to here is the height of the woke movement four years ago. Every company everywhere was asserting itself to push this shit, which I hate to break it to these bozos, but it wasn't business critical or smart to embrace DEI even back then. Hmm. They were just foolish hmm. enough to believe it because that was the popular sentiment in these corp- Get what go broke and now they're not seeing money coming in like a tsunami so they're like like, we need to fire everybody, we need to fire everybody right now circles but now four years later after numerous countless monetary failures it is perhaps finally dawning on them that this shit is a cancer on their business you don't have any friends 
Nobody likes you. But the article continues, this new report comes from business insider's Ashley Stewart, who writes, after Microsoft laid off an internal team focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, a team leader blasted Plus, the, company the company for a lack of investment in these efforts. The email from the manager stated in part, true systems change work associated with DEI programs everywhere are no longer business critical or smart as they were in 2020. The report oh, wow. also noted oh, wow. the team was eliminated because of changing business needs as of July 1st. And Th what that that's a rare W for Microsoft. I have to agree. A and we covered that right in the the last uh, in the last last video. Uh, uh, but but here's the thing though it's still a little bit suspect and a lot of people are still skeptical about it like what if they do something something even far bigger than that what if they fires dei team only to bring them back with like another rebrand name rebranded term right it, it remains to be seen but so far this is very very good news guys check out this video on the screen i made this one for my young bucks out there for my young kings out there for my baby daddies out there as well Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.